How's it going everybody? Resale Rabbit here. Today's gonna be a fun day. Well, the day's already just about over, but let me show you what's been happening. First of all, I had a big stack of DVD players, well, DVD VCR combos and VCRs destined for Amazon, and they've been sitting here for a while, ever since I got those pallets of electronics recycling. I haven't had time to touch them. So, the a guy that works for me, he has nothing to do with Amazon. I paid him to prep and test them for me. So this stack is ready to go out. He wrote the model number on top of each one. So all I need to do is enter them in the system, sticker them, and get them shipped out. Now this stack here, we don't have remotes. So he wrote the model number somewhere on them. There we go. All I have to do is order the remote. They're prepped, they're tested, they're clean, they're ready to go. So literally all I will have to do when it comes time to send these to Amazon when the remotes come in, toss the remote in, seal up the box. It cost me $57.50. I paid him $2.50 for each one you test, $2.50 for each one you prep. He said it took him about an hour. He made almost 60 bucks. So it was kind of a win-win. Um, I'm going to get close to 100 bucks each for these on Amazon. Some are a little lower. Some are going to be in this 50, 60, 70 range, but I'll do pretty well on them. Additionally, there were four that did not work, and uh, he does fix them for me. He charges me 15 bucks for every unit that he fixes, so he's gonna take those home and fix them. Now let's ship some eBay orders. It was a heck of a day. So I don't know how much you saw it in the last couple of videos, but right here there was a cart full of stuff that I've been walking around for about a month and a half. Finally got all that stuff listed, and a bunch of it sold. I did this yesterday, and a bunch of it sold today. So I've got the normal amount, 13 sales for what? $2,723.82. Woo! So, first sale, biggest one of the day, six bucks. I sold six of these gold-plated plastic $100 bills. It's not the biggest sale. I was kidding. I got six bucks for it. This is the last one. I think I spent maybe five bucks on all of them, and I've probably made about 40 or so. Not great sellers. Probably not something I'll buy again, but it was a good markup. I hate selling really, I hate selling stuff for under 10 bucks. Next, I sold a phone. Probably one of these. We're looking for an 8D. That is going to be this one. These came from Wing Zone when I bought a lot of their electronics out. I spent $2.50 on three or four phones. This is either the second or third one that sold. $32.99, I think, is what I got. Next, you might notice a different area for these. I sold this Husky air compressor for $30. This is, I've got one left that plugs into your car. I've got a whole bunch over here that plug into a home outlet, 120 volt. But this one sold 30 bucks. I sold this for $69.99. That is two of these water filters that came on the Lowe's pallets. $69.99, it'll be easy to ship. I'll just uh, throw a label right on this box and we'll send it out. Next, I'm assuming it's gonna be this. Yes, this is a Sony. That shouldn't be hanging like that. Uh, but it is a Sony 8-track player. Sold for 70 bucks. Not too bad there. And I don't remember what I paid for it or where I got it. It's been here for a while. I was going to keep it just for my own collection. Then I realized I don't listen to 8-tracks. So I uh, listed it. Took an offer for 70 Next, I sold one of these 120-volt Husky compressors or inflators. I got 25 bucks. I'm pulling this one. This one's already pre-packaged. Why is it pre-packaged? Because I had sold a 12-volt, but almost shipped out 120-volt. This was a little while ago, and I kept forgetting that I've got one pre-packaged. So this one will be easy. Slap a label on it and send it out. All right, now, this one might be difficult to find. I don't remember where I put these. Um, it's gotta be over here somewhere because I listed it when I did a lot of this Shopco stuff, but oh, right here, these pen refills, uh, $15.99, it doesn't have a price tag on so I don't know what I paid, but I guarantee you it was, it was probably 25 cents or less. I would have got this for 5% of retail from Office Depot when they closed. Next. You know, everyone says CDs don't sell. You guys are getting, you're getting ripped off buying this obsolete stuff. I got 30 bucks for this. It's a pack of four or five discs. It's in really nice shape. 30 bucks. It sold within 
six hours maybe of listing. I listed it yesterday and it sold yesterday. I got 30 bucks for it. Now I paid basically nothing for it. I bought, if you remember, at a garage sale this summer, several hundred CDs for like 15 bucks, maybe 20. And I sold, I think I bought rough estimate about 400 CDs. I sold about 150 or 200 in the dollar sale at a buck each. But I saw this and looked it up before the sale and realized it's worth some money. Worried me for a second. I thought it was really dirty and nasty there. That's just the design. Uh, I saw it was worth some money, so I listed it and I got 30 bucks for it. This item is kind of cool and it really makes me kick myself. So this is a Nintendo 64 controller. The brand is LodgeNet. It is actually a first party Nintendo controller. Uh, the connection is with this. Now what this is, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, if you were staying in a hotel room and wanted to play video games, you could rent this and you would be able to plug it right into your TV. Nowadays, it's not really usable um, outside of collectible value. This one looks like it's never been used. It, it looks practically new. Um, you know, you can't put your expansion pack on there or anything. Not compatible with any home game system. The idea is uh, so someone doesn't steal it from the room. I would imagine the games were probably stored on the TV or on a central server or something like that. And you can pick up from here. Um, or maybe you could get this for free and then rent the games because it says order. Anyways, here's why I'm kicking myself. I sold this for 60 bucks. I had probably 10 or 15 of these all in the same condition. Really nice. I sold most of them in a big box lot with a local auction. I think they sold for like five bucks for all of them. I didn't realize they were worth so much money. This was like two years ago. I found this one, which must have fallen out of a box or something. I found it in my basement and decided to uh, check it out on eBay. This thing sold in, the, in less than 12 hours for 60 bucks. I probably could have priced it higher. I thought I was priced too high. Now it's time for the big stuff, the fun stuff. You might notice we had, what did I say, like 2,300 in sales. What I showed you so far was what, 150? Where's the rest? Well, let me show you. Um, so I love medical supplies. I don't like consumer level medical supplies because you've got people who don't know how to, you know, test them, who buy them because I'm usually selling them as is untested. And then they also usually require a prescription and whatnot, which can cause problems selling when you sell them. I like selling stuff that you would see used in a hospital or a clinic. If you remember a year and a half ago, I bought two blood analyzers for 25 bucks total. I listed them as a seven day auction. Both of them sold seven days later. I don't know what the, what the total was, 3000 or something like that. I ended up walking away with about 2500 profit after shipping and fees. That was amazing. Um, stuff like that. I love it. It's blood analyzer. It's like a little PDA you hold and it connects to the machine that has the blood in it. Nothing gross. These, I'm hoping, are also nothing gross. I don't even remember what I paid for these. I bought them like three months ago and they've been sitting because it was big and bulky and I didn't want to list it. I kind of wish I listed it. Um, so anyways... Uh, I sold three items of the lot. There are three more that didn't sell yet, but I sold probably the best three. First is this thing. Uh, the lid is cracked. Uh, you open it up somehow. There we go. And I guess you put test tubes or something in there. It's a repeater pump. All I did to test this, I plugged it in, powered it on, pushed some buttons, seemed to work. And I said, that's all I did. And I also said, sold as is, untested for parts or repair. Uh, sold for 300 bucks plus 84 shipping. It's heavy. Uh, I did calculated shipping on it. Oh boy. Oh, this thing is probably 50 pounds. Now we've got these. These are electrosurgical generators. I think that's what they're called. Um, I sold the first one. I don't know, remember which one was which, but I sold one for 750 By the way, they're the exact same thing. I just took, you can see, seven and eight. I took separate pictures so you can see the exact pictures of the item. They're pretty beat up. Sold the first one for $750 plus 90 shipping. Sold the second one, and that sold within an hour. Second one sold this morning. I listed these yesterday for full asking price of 1000 bucks plus 77 shipping. Now, here's the thing. Those... Electrosurgical, is that what it is? Hold on. Um, electrosurgical generator, yes. I have no idea what that is. I tried Googling it and there were, 
I looked up the definition, what is an electrosurgical generator? And there were about 15 words that I understood in the explanation of it. The rest of it, I would have to Google what all those other words are. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother. Um, so if you're a doctor or a nurse, you probably know what they are. You can leave a comment below and explain it as if I'm a five-year-old because I still won't understand if you don't. These things also sold as is untested for parts or repair. We plugged it in, powered on, it beeped, buttons came on, that our buttons were, you know, did something. That's basically all I said in the listing. I wish I didn't take that $750 offer on the first one, seeing as how quickly the second one sold for a thousand. I did not think they were going to sell that fast and they are big and heavy and I kind of wanted them gone. At the end of the day though, that's 1750 for those two plus 300 for that one. That's over $2,000. I can't imagine I paid more than 50 bucks. Realistically, I probably paid about 20 to 30 for all this stuff, for all of it. And uh, I, I did pretty well. So I'm going to get these shipped out. These things are big. They're heavy. I'm not shipping them myself. I'm going to bring them to the pack and ship. I've mentioned this on another video, actually with another piece of medical equipment. I will pay them to pack them up and box them up for me. And then I will take them back and ship them myself. Total cost is probably going to be about 25 to 35 bucks per item to get them all packed up. So it's not too bad. And I don't need to do it. So I'm going to drop those off now, let them do it. And they just sold today. And remember, I said in yesterday's video or earlier in this, I don't remember, um, I up, up increased my handling time on basically everything because I haven't had a ton of time to focus on eBay. Yesterday was my first time listing. I listed about 35 items. Um, I didn't put a lot of time into it. And it was my first time listing in probably two months. So um, I extended my handling time. So I don't need to ship these out today. Additionally, they both technically sold today. One sold yesterday, but it was paid for today. Today's Friday. So now that I think about it, they don't need to go out until like Wednesday, I think. <laughs> They're going to go out quicker than that. But I was very happy with that. Huge profit on them. The other three items. I honestly don't remember what I listed them for. I'm pretty sure this one I listed for about 150 or 200. It's just a scale. Um, and then these two, I think I listed this one for 450 or 500. And I don't remember on this one. This one might have been as low as 150 or as high as 700. I really don't remember. And it was just yesterday. Another thing that you might notice on all of them is this. So this is a safety inspection. This is actually an older one. The other ones are all more recent. Oh, let's see if this has one. And this one does not have one. I know these do. You can see... 2019 right there is the next inspection due so what i did you might notice it's a weird sticker part of my agreement when buy, buying these it has the hospital's id or their logo right there i need to get any identifying marks off of them so when it says property of mount sinai hospital it's not mount that's like opposite side of the country don't worry it's not them but when it says that i need to remove that sticker that plate that tag Anything that has the name on it, just because that, that is part of the contract I signed when I buy from this vendor. Well, I didn't want to remove those because if it says, it shows right there that it was inspected, professionally inspected for a medical center on, what was it, 319 of 19, I think it expired. It's a one year, one year tag. So that means in 2018, it was inspected and approved and passed. That helps sell the item. That helps tell the buyer, well, it's probably in good shape if it was if it passed the, this inspection just two years ago. So I wanted to keep that on there, but their logo's in the corner. So all I did was cut off the logo. That sticker is irrelevant because A, any medical clinic is going to want to do their own inspection, have their own inspection done before they use it. That's another reason why I like selling this professional commercial medical equipment because it's actually going to get inspected in case... Even if I'm fully comfortable testing something, if there's something that I miss and it hurts or God forbid kills someone, yes, I have insurance that covers me, but I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. With this stuff, a clinic, a hospital, they're gonna test it, inspect it very vigorously before they put it into the field. And usually the people who buy it from me are actually companies who are gonna refurbish them and sell them. Those blue things, the electrosurgical generator things, 
Those sell in refurbished condition on eBay for as much as $2,500, $3,000. And I'm pretty sure that's who bought both of them, at least one of them. Based on the name of the buyer, I'm thinking that's who bought the $1,000 one. Anyways, so they're going to want to do their own inspection is my point. So that sticker is irrelevant. Additionally, that sticker is expired anyways. So it's irrelevant again. All it does is help sell the product. That is enough talking. I am going to go get these dropped off uh, because they're open till five. And the time is now eh, three o'clock just about. I'm going to get these dropped off. I just realized I forgot to show you one item. This signature pad sold for 25 bucks. Well, got them all shipped out. Cost me, or it's netting me about 460 bucks for seven of them. I also got remotes ordered for all of these. Figure an average of about eight bucks each or so. And uh, next week this time, I should be able to get all these shipped out. So I now have 52 pallets coming, 14 of which are tomorrow. So I'm trying to get through this, some of this Target stuff to clear some space. Uh, as you remember, there were two pallets here we're making some decent progress. So here is what I'm doing. First off, I'm hanging stuff up for our next warehouse sale. We're gonna start at three and work our way down from there. Um, I haven't gone through these boxes yet. This is shoes, uh, based, just about all the shoes are going in the sale. I'm not really going through the shoes much. I'm just kind of stacking them up. Uh, here's 41 pairs of men's shorts. We will be uh, probably selling these in bulk. These I'm going to put on eBay. I've got a lot. This whole box, this thing is giant. There's probably three or 400 pairs of these in here, different sizes. They seem to be a relatively slow mover, two or three per month, but they don't have a lot in stock either. So if we stock all these different sizes, they might sell faster. Plus they're pants. We're getting into fall and winter, so that'll help. Uh, this is kids' clothes. I'm doing boxes of 150 pieces of children's and infant clothes for I think it came out to about a dollar and eighty cents with free shipping for buyers. Uh, some of this stuff might actually I keep saying that most of this stuff will be gone by the time you guys see the video, but there's so much of it, some of it might actually still be available. So definitely check out the JLN distributing Facebook group. I still have to go through all of this stuff. Uh, what else? This is the stuff that I've been pulling. I actually pulled a few items for myself up here, but the rest is swimsuits, uh, three boxes of swimsuits. I was gonna bulk sell these. They're champion running shorts for women. They're actually some pretty nice shorts, but I only have 27 of them. It's too small of a lot. So unless I find more, I'll probably reserve them for the sale. I still need to go through this palette. Um, swimsuits, I'm just pulling, although I have three, lots of 125 there. I sold two, I'm waiting for those to sell before I add up any more lots, so I'm just filling out more boxes. Um, these are going on eBay, and it looks like one of the swimsuits didn't make it in the box. Now over here, let's take a walk. Here, this particular shoe, it's got a bow on it, it's a sandal. It actually feels like a decent quality sandal, got a little weight to it. Uh, these are going for decent money on eBay. I looked them up a couple days ago. I don't remember what they are, but there's this, the black ones, and the pink ones. So I have them sorted by size. I don't have a single half size here. So my guess is this brand, or either the brand or the style, doesn't come in half sizes. We've got six, a whole bunch of eight, a nine, a 10, and an 11. Here we've got six, seven, a whole bunch of eights. This is stacked, I think, two or three layers tall. Uh, some nines, a bunch of tens, and an 11. So we'll get these listed, and because they're all the same thing, it's literally just two listings. It'll only take a minute to do, um, and I'll have all of these listed. I expect it to take to sell the bulk of those. I'm sure there'll be one or two random stragglers that sit for months after the other ones sell. To sell the bulk of them, although we are going into winter, I'm going to estimate three to six months, which isn't too bad for five minutes work, you know, listing them and everything. Prime example... You see these in almost every single video, and I've got some black ones here too. I've been selling these pretty consistently, and I keep adding to them because just now I, find, I found, I think, five more pairs of black ones and eight or nine more pairs of the brown ones in different sizes. So some of the sizes got relisted that I was once sold out. And if you remember these shoes I sold out of, I found four, I think that's four more pairs, each one skew of a different size. 
So, and I'm sure there's gonna be more of those SKUs and those brown ones, I keep on finding them. And it seems like I'm selling two, three, four, five units per week, especially when I first list them. Um, so, I mean, I'm walking away profit. I'm selling them for between 10 and $15, uh, depending on whether or not someone sends me an offer. Uh, so $9.99 to $14.99. Uh, cost me, what, three fifty, four bucks to ship, depending on how far it's going. They go first class and then 13% in fees. So I'm walking away with between, I would estimate five and $7 uh, after fees on them, which is a lot more than I would get selling them in bulk. I can't seem to move this stuff in bulk for some reason. I have this listed for $1.15 each, which is really low. Um, so they, they just don't seem to be moving. That's just assorted clothing, all new from Target, new with tags. This one's shoes, I've listed two each and I just can't seem to move them. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the time of year or what, but people just aren't buying. The market doesn't really seem flooded, but it seems like when I do boxes of specific items, they do well. For example, I sold, I think 94 pairs of ladies shorts for, oh, what was it? It must've been like a buck 75 or something like that. That's kind of my target for clothing. Um, for around a buck 75, I think it was 160, if I remember right, sold just yesterday, almost instantly. The swimsuits, while I'm filming this, someone who has bought these swimsuits from me in the past just asked if I have any more. So, um, he, well, he asked, how many more do you have? So I actually might have these three sold. Um, so we'll get those maybe sold. Anyways, those are doing well. I just listed lots of 150 pieces of kids clothes for 100 and for 270, so about a buck 80 each, I think. I think I'm gonna have a lot of those, uh, but we'll see how they move. I literally just listed it and it's Saturday. So I've been working a lot of weekends lately. So anyways, um, I seem to be doing okay in smaller lots. We're gonna have this big blowout sale where I'll get some decent money for this stuff. And then what's left, a lot of the swimsuits, if I can't move them, we're moving into winter, I'll sit on them until next spring again. I wish I had the idea of this bin style sale uh, earlier in the summer. I would have got rid of all this clothing, but that's okay. Now, doesn't that look nice? So I removed a shelf here to hang the shoes. I was hoping I'd be able to hang all of them. Some needed to be set down below, but this is gonna make it much easier to find all eights, all tens, all sixes, eights in the other color, nine, so on and so forth. This is the only one with three different sizes because there's one of each. I also had a lot of eights, so I had to shove one behind the sevens. So anyways, oh, and eights are here and here. It'll, it'll be easy. You get the picture. 38 pairs of shoes, a total of $19 invested in them. And I've got them listed for $14.95 each.